Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome into uh, Kurt Magoo Sports and wanted to talk about one of my favorite prospects in the entire 2020-22 class and that is J. Tapp from uh, Louisiana. So I guess this is his junior year film. He's number seven there, the same number as Leonard Fournette from Donaldsville High School in Louisiana. And, I mean, this kid has great wiggle for, for, for a guy his size. He's an incredible, incredible athlete inside. You know, he's like Mario Williams. Like, look at him inside. Look at the get-off. Look at the finish. I mean, this guy's personality is infectious as well. You know, listening to him on interviews and whatnot. And look at him here, chase down the play, make a physical tackle. Here he comes along the edge as well. He's a terror, terror in the backfield. Terror. And um, he's an interior lineman. He has great, great size. He can, If you needed him to play edge, you could also play edge as well. And he's so athletic that he, that he plays tight end and fullback on the offensive side of the ball. He's great in the run game. He's just going to produce at an exceptional level. Like, the guy's an NFL player, and the University of Texas is getting him. I mean, I thought it would be Quincy Wiggins. Initially, LSU's class had Quincy Williams and J. Tapp. But, you know, since Coach Ogeron left LSU, you know, a lot of those guys, like DeColdis Crawford and J. Tapp, um, it was setting up to be, like, one of the best classes, you know, in LSU history. And now J. Tapp's going to be going to um, to, to Austin. And um, I, there's a really good corner that, you know, is, is in this class as well. Um, one of my favorite cornerbacks, I believe, is in Austin uh, for this recruiting cycle. So, you know, with J. Tapp, you know, it's setting up to be you know, a phenomenal defensive class so far of Longhorns that I've, uh, that I've, that I've covered, but I can't wait, you know, this guy, I really think like here he, he rushes off the edge. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what the defensive court, you know, what, what, um, the defensive coordinator is going to do, you know, with tap and, um, I think the guy's a Sunday player. I think he's a high first round pick, you know, if he, if he stays healthy, He's just going to be a sensational football player. I mean, he could start anywhere in the country. And University of Texas, I mean, look at the speed off of the edge, the bend in the speed. Um, On every play, he's going to be a terror. And he gets a head start there. He causes this interception. So the guy is wiggled. The guy is just a great, great athlete. The guy, you know, stuffy in the run game as well. Look at him chase down this quarterback. Like, this is what I love to see. I love to watch football like this. Here he sees the running back. He he changes course. He's rushing the passer. He's also looking, finds that running back. He goes to the other side of the field to just slam that dude down. So Jamon Tapp, I mean, look at him right here. <laughs> Stuffs the stuffs the tackle, goes against the running back. Ah, oh, that's beautiful football. That is football. I love watching Jim Tap play football. Oh, I hope he starts as a freshman. He's probably he's probably one of my favorite players just to watch in this entire class. I hoped that he is, you know. He could be a top 15 pick in the NFL draft. I mean, gosh, this guy is freaking good, man. This guy is a freaking monster playing football. Donaldsville um, in in Louisiana. LSU, gosh, the fact he didn't go to LSU, that's going to that's gonna be a tough one for them. You know, he's right there near Baton Rouge, had him recruited. They decided to go with Brian Kelly, who's out there doing weird dances, old dad moves, and – you know, with the with the recruits. And, you know, I think that going with Quinn Ewers and all of these offensive linemen, you know, Kelvin Banks is going to be unbelievable as well. If you have Banks and, and J. Tapp, I mean, on the lines, that's pretty damn impressive, you know, to start off for, for the University of Texas.